Since children are in a constant state of growing, it's important for early intervention to correct or repair any orthopedic issues that may arise. Dr. Afshin Aminian of Children's Hospital of Orange County explains the various orthopedic problems and treatments for these conditions. What I think is uh, very important when we talk about adolescent, when they're in their peak growth velocity and this is the time when the bone density is changing and the bone is maturing and the architecture is gonna mature into their adult bony architecture, is that we really stress the importance of bone nutrition. So especially for female teenagers, it's very important in their teenage lives when they are kind of at the point that they could build bone density to build their bone density because once they hit 18 they're going to be some loss in that bone density and then soon after menopause a rapid loss in bone density. What we stress in every teenager that comes in no matter for uh, a back problem, a hip problem, a knee problem is the importance of adequate calcium intake. Uh, about five cups of milk a day or equivalent of that, 1,800 milligrams is what they need. And uh, that could be gone, obtained from drinking milk, orange juice with calcium, dairy products, cheese, broccoli is a great source. So we stress to the families to you know, make sure that they're getting adequate calcium intake with about five healthy doses of dairy products um, uh, a day. Then it's exercise. One hour of exercise a day is absolutely necessary for bone nutrition. That stimulation of weight-bearing activities on the bone is essential for the bony architecture and the mineralization to proceed in a good, healthy fashion. When the teenagers are growing, going through their rapid growth phase, they get awkward. So they're getting really tall, they get clumsy. Uh, the girls and the boys are going through hormonal changes and unfortunately, Due to the hormonal changes, the weak link in their skeleton becomes their growth plates. If they're active in football and basketball and they turn and twist, unfortunately they end up with a fracture through the growth plate. The importance of seeing a pediatric orthopedics uh, with a growth plate injury is that a lot of these children end up with potential problems with asymmetry in their growth secondary to the trauma. We do have recent techniques in pediatric orthopedics to be able to align these fractures a little bit better, align the joint surface better so we diminish the possibility of arthritic changes developing in these uh, teenagers when they become young adults. So we're seeing an increased number of athletic injuries as far as knee, ligamentous injury, cartilage damage in young female teenagers we do see the increased incidence of injuries and that has started us to really look at these girls for pre-participation physical exam, look at their alignment and through dynamic neuromuscular training with better control of their knees uh, and hip musculature be able to teach them how to pivot, jump, land and turn to prevent some of these injuries from occurring which is uh, sort of the major advances that I think we've made in pediatric orthopedics in the past five or six years because we're seeing just more and more adult type injuries in 12, 13 year old girls, which is, is a pity, I think.